Welcome back to episode 2 of my new Overwatch 2 series, Climbing Out of Gold from a Gold's Perspective. Now I want to thank you guys for all of the comments, criticism, uh, tips and recommendations you gave in the comments of my last video and I thought I'd spend this video addressing some of those comments and trying to improve my play style based on the tips that they've given. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a shorter style video today, the last video was like an hour long which uh, it can be a little bit too long sometimes so this is going to be a bit of a shorter video so hopefully people stay until the end and um, continue to use the comments as an area to discuss any tips um, either on my videos itself but also on the playing style uh, to help me improve so yeah let's get to the video. Now I've been slowly making my way through some of the comments, um, so sorry if I don't include them all in today's video, I'll perhaps do a part 2 to continue through working through the previous videos, comments if need be, but one of the things or the themes that I saw uh, that was quite common was the fact that I was using my abilities specifically as Anna, um, not appropriately, probably either not as efficient as I should have been so let's go through some of those comments now so the first one here is by board life 4 I believe I watched your first game it's pretty evident to me why you are the rank you are you use your cooldowns like you are playing a uh, Tekken button mashing you don't do anything impactful with them you just yeet your sleep like a toddler bowling hoping to hit something and you throw your leg with no real intent to hit anything notably hitting the zarya bubble many times you also peaked widow many times despite her having her ultimate online and already being shot by her so let's look at the next one before we fully dissect these were all of the ones that are on a common theme Try to land more impactful utilities like Ananade. You're looking to boost your healing for your team when they are low or get a good anti-heal on the other team to help with pushes, etc. Keep hold of your Ana Sleep Dart 2. Don't use it on a whim. You're looking to sleep be uh, being uh, you're looking to sleep being using ultimates or making large pushes or plays to weaken their push up. Alternatively, to sleep people pushing you to buy time for your team to assist. So that was by Schweppy. And finally, by Chicken Wing 575 I skimmed the video, you're out of position, need some work, and from what I can tell, you seem to spam your abilities instead of using them deliberately when you're panicking. You seem to lose a ton of your uh, awareness on Moira, you seem to go DPS in prey mode when Moira is a very cat and mouse character. So, um, a common theme going on here basically is the abilities. So, we'll, we'll play a game. Uh, let's play games as Anna, as I think all three of these comments are mainly, mainly targeting my Anna gameplay, and try and use my abilities a little more efficiently, and also just keeping at the back of my mind my positioning, as a couple of the comments here were uh, noting on my positioning needing a bit of work. Um, wasn't very specific about how, but we can just try and keep it in mind, um, and let's see how we do with it. Alright, so, we're in a game. Uh... We're going to play some mana, like I said. Try and keep in mind of positioning, as always. Uh, and also the abilities. So we want to be not really impactful, especially with our nades. Um, and not inside. just in an put our sleep in out in every odd direction. We want to use that impactfully as well. Either to protect myself, stop, stop an ultimate, or also to stop enemies in our back lines to allow our, our the rest of our teammates time to react basically so let's see how we do it's the first game of the day so maybe a little rusty haven't played for a while let's see so like i like i did in the last video i'm going to be sort of commentating live throughout the gameplay so you can just sort of see where my mindset is at and there was a few comments on my mindset actually which we'll address after this game but if need be i'll do some voiceovers as well if um <laughs> oh, okay so that didn't hit and that was my bad there i saw he put shield up just as i would do it someone's up there again oh sugar Over 
Okay. Not really sure what's going on here. Yeah, he's low, he's out there. Alright, what's going on? We should really touch. I bounty him, but not successfully. I think I'm focusing on the tank far too much. Trying to. Damn it. Oh! I knew he was behind, but. We're at too late. Oh, he got such a big ult there. But we've managed to take over point, which is good. I go out on my Damn it. My heels weren't getting too good enough. Nice one. Okay, so I think I was focusing a little too hard on the tank there. Um, to be honest, it was really hard because it was all I could really see. Is fucking Reinhardt with his shield is crazy. Oh, I was tr I literally, I'm not even joking, had pushed the sleep like the second I died. Oh, I'm gonna hit that sleep if I don't know if I just reacted a bit quicker. Oh, fuck, did not mean to punch there. We really need to push here. And I've got my ult as well. I know that might be a bit controversial, but I just really wanted to make sure we had that point. Yeah, I probably didn't need to nano him. I just panicked. Oh, that was nice. Come on, you've got to say that was pretty good. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm a goner. I'm a goner. Ah, so we've lost this round. It was close. I just don't think any of us are going to make it in time. Nah. Why? Yeah. Nah. So, oof, my healing's a little slow. Healing's a little low, so I think I might try and focus. I was just so focused on trying to land an impactful nade. I think that kind of made me not focus as much on healing. Um, so yeah, well, please go win. <laughs> that's the that's the the aim of the game, I'm guessing, buddy. But all right, I'll try and focus a bit more on healing this time. Especially my DPS, I think. They died quite a bit compared to the other DPS. Look, 5 and 3, and the other team 3 and 1. Hey, here's an idea. How about we win? Got a burr in your side. Regenerate it. So I'm being way more 
considerate here of healing and okay. Yeah, that was again just me just putting my sleep out on a whim. I was kind of hoping to hit someone around that choke there, but never mind. Oh, I actually did hit her, if you even saw that. I hit that most of my sleep. I would have hit the wall or something. <laughs> Don't know how impactful that was, but. Okay, I would say I wouldn't say I'm doing amazingly, but I wouldn't say I'm doing. Oh fuck! Oh, that was again. Someone told me about that in one of the comments that fucking would hit Zarya bubble with my nade. She was in the sky there. I was trying to nade mainly myself because I knew she was going to take out a lot of damage on me. And I was hoping to hit the sleep, but I just died so quickly. Back to team. This guy's on about. Oh, we won that round somehow. You're powered up. Get in there. Yeah, I mean, this is my first game, guys. From like a week break, I didn't even hop into it. I'm right. I haven't warmed up or nothing, so. This is like truly my raw, untrained, unwarmed up skills here. I mean, I can definitely see that I have the tendency to just shove out of sleep. Uh, especially the state of panic. Uh, she sort of have a bit of a chill pill with that, I think. Um, my heels are definitely a lot better now, but again, I, I'm probably one of the weakest on the team here. Slept him. My aim's all over the place. Oh, that was a nice anti. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Damn it. I should just drop down or ran or something. Fuck. I still have some fight in me. Where there's smoke, they're on the point. Send them. 
I think we could we can win this. I think we've got a good chance of winning this. I think we need to regroup. Had to that here. Oh, my fucking sleep. Oh. Alright, we've got time. We've got time. We've got plenty of time. One of these days I'll end up in Fiji. I feel like just not healing. Oh, I just hit her bubble. Oh, yeah, we've lost this. I don't know what was going on there, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Yeah, it wasn't my best performance. So there's the scoreboard, guys. 9 and 7. 13 assists. 6.7k heal, 4k damage. I mean, this our other support has a 15 worst team I think I've ever seen in my life. I mean, someone's 14 and 11. The tank weren't too bad. You all should hop off. I mean, yeah, our other support, if he's on like a 15 loss streak, he should have hopped off. His mentality he probably wasn't in the right place. Um, oof. Alright, so I think in summary there, First game of the day. I can't always use that as an excuse, but I am a little rusty. Um, I probably could have healed a lot better, especially with my DPS. I felt like my mind was on the tank a lot of the time. I think there were in some cases I had some pretty impactful antis, etc. But there wasn't anyone to benefit off of them. So I sort of just have to be like, it's all well and good throwing a, an anti sort of someplace and getting a lot of like the whole enemy team. But if they can just immediately sort of remove themselves and be safe and no one can benefit or take advantage of what I've done, then it doesn't matter. You know, and I think I, I, I'm starting to see, yeah, I'm just throwing my sleeps about everywhere. Um, especially in a state of panic. I think my positioning was okay. I'm trying to just think back to some of the times I've died. I didn't die a stupid amount of times. It's usually a good sign. Um, yeah, I don't know. Discuss that game in the comments. So, um, I think there's definitely some work to be done with, with Anna, especially again with these abilities and positioning. Um, but if you could, you know, if, if you have anything specific to comment in terms of that gameplay, let me know and let's review some more comments. Okay, so we've got another comment here from Chris Norton6474. He says, my advice from a Diamond Peak Masters support is try to position on wider angles. Obviously don't frontline or risk death if there's a trace or a widow or something, but often you'd hide behind your team too long and won't be able to see or shoot anything. Lucio was really rough, but you could have been damaging much more. So for context, there was a Lucio in one of my early games in the previous video who was, <laughs> as his comment says, really rough. 
Uh, sometimes you'd be healing your teammates when they were full or perfectly safe and almost full, which is a, a lot of downtime. Yeah, I, I can see myself. I see myself doing that as well sometimes. Um, so here's a couple of points where I've done that, and I could have been shooting down the choke instead. So trying to balance my healing and damaging a bit more. Also, try to utilize your TP more as carry. You hold on to it for a while when it has uh, such a short cooldown. Experiment it with it more. Take wider angles when you can. Annoy a tank, etc. You don't need to carry on support to climb. Obviously, getting kills and good antis are great, but simply damaging, pressuring the enemy DPS or tank can give windows for your teammates to take space or snatch a kill. Your bat was great, by the way. You could use abilities more sparingly, but he was probably your strongest. Good luck on the climb. It's interesting you think Bap is my strongest. He's probably one of my least played uh, supports. Let's take a look at my career profile here. Um, time played. Let, let's just do all modes. Obviously, Moira is probably going to be yeah, 79 hours. It's crazy. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy, 79 hours. I know you're sorry, my face is in the way, but uh, my most played is, 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 is Moira. Then Kiri with 52 hours, Anna with 44, Zen with 31, Mercy with 28. So a lot of the supports up there. Then we've got Arissa, I do like a good Arissa. She's got 21, and then Bab. I'm surprised Bab is that high up, to be honest with you, but that's quite low down, like he's not in my main pool. So maybe we could play a game where I play bat a little more play a little more aggressively with him perhaps i think i had another comment that talked to him about you know which characters have the potential to play a little bit more aggressively so let me see if i can find that now so overrated for 6900 left a series of essays um i'm not going to read through all of it there's just a paragraph here which was uh, quite interesting and sort of relatable to the previous comment i just uh, showed um so where was it here one more thing so this is the last paragraph you said in a reply to a comment that you make more plays when on moira this isn't in my wheelhouse but i don't think moira is the pick to make plays moira stays with the team and farm stats one quick check uh, of overbuff backs this up. Moira has an absolutely horrible ratio of both final blows to her limbs slash damage and also solo kills to elimination slash damage. When compared to basically any other support, i.e. she's in line with other supports on solo kills and final blows but beats them on damage and the limb. She's not the playmaker. Play BAP if you want to play like that. This is my wheelhouse. I play BAP and I like and I play like a DPS. So like I said, I'm not going to read through uh, all of this comment right here. This is just the last paragraph. Uh, th this person also left some, some other essays as well with, with some useful points in there and, and some debatable. But um, maybe I'll dissect this another time. But um, I think, you know, based off of... Uh, a part of this comment and the previous comment I'm going to play a game as Bat and try and play him a little more aggressively so a little different to how I just played this previous Anna game and um, again trying to keep ability use in mind and positioning as always um, but with a slightly different gameplay so instead of being reserved in the back lines I'm going to kind of be trying to take some wider angles being a bit in the front lines I mean unlike Kiriko Bat doesn't have the get out of jail free card uh, with the TP but I can try and use his movement a little more, so I'm always a little shy to use Bap's uh, jump um, as much. So, yeah, let's see how this next game goes. Okay, so here's the second game of the night. We're playing a game as Bap. I don't play Bap that often, so uh, sorry if I'm a little rusty, but I appreciate any tips as usual. Uh, we're going to try a bit more of an aggressive play. I always struggle with these flashpoint maps, man. I always find that my positioning is so much more worse on them. But with Bap, I'm going to try and use his jump a lot more. Oh, gosh. Okay. And just be a little more aggressive. Probably did not need to do that lamp there. Oof. Okay. So let's dissect that. So 
I honestly was not very focused, at least initially in the first half of that, on trying to heal my teammates. I was trying to be super aggressive and get their mercy from high up, but I had that Genji just jumping all over the place, so I think I can't be uh, too annoying. I feel like he's just gonna fuck me up, um, and yeah, my team's just out here dying. Oh, we managed to get the point. You are completely healed. So I'm positioning myself up here. I don't know if this is something you guys would would, would recommend, but I kind of like it. Oh, nice! Got a pick. Ooh. I think that could have worked. I think if I had a little bit better aim, I probably could have got that Anna at least. Yeah, I just gotta snipe for the hand, so. Always annoying. But I think my team's doing okay. I think we're, we're, we're good. No one's dropping off too badly. Ooh, but my heals. In fact, my just my stats are trash. My. Okay, maybe it was more useful than I thought it was. I thought they were all dead. Okay, so yeah, stats are looking a little. So I'm just gonna try and not be so aggressive to the point where everything else goes out the window. I think when I try to focus on something, everything else just. Yeah, look, he's distracted by me now, and may continue to be to <laughs> continue to be. <laughs> so I'm just gonna retreat from there. Just keep your eyes up there, guys. Ah, he's now done it. Yeah, that was a. Very good. Alt there. That was a very good alt. I was sitting there looking <laughs> at my abilities. I just got hacked, obviously. Of course, I couldn't use them. I was like, ah, oh, blam, 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 blam. <laughs> okay, I'm, I've died quite a lot. So I'm going to just try and just. I'm just trying to be as a bit more. Okay. Oh, that's they weren't in my lamp, so I didn't really do anything. Oh, really? Oh, fuck, even the mercy got me. Jesus, how? So I'm alone. Oh, I'm not really alone. Come on, someone should have been able to get her. I don't know how, I didn't even see her fly in, to be honest with you. We haven't even touched on that second point. Oh no, we did, I think. So I, yeah, I'm by far the worst team player. I'm doing nothing. I don't know who said, I don't know why you said Bap is my strongest. He is not. I feel like I'm playing like absolute ass. Oh. Your case is definitely urgent. Surrender to my will. No one can stop me! I feel like nothing's hitting. Yeah, I'm doing absolutely nothing. Okay, so let's change that. Heads up! Okay, I think. Oh, I should have been able to 
I'll still go rid of my fucking lamp. Oh, she did. God, lamp does nothing against her roll. Useless. Okay. I feel I'm getting a little bit better. Yeah, we need to group. And we need to push it together, I think. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll go this way. You are completely healed. Damn it, really. Oh, I could have killed her. Oh, what could I have done differently to have killed her? Was I just not shooting her in the head, really? You know, I was just panicking and just shooting at her body. I think if I shoot a shot, just shot at her head. I could have killed her in there. I believe I survived as long as I did though. Okay. There's a the hands over there. I'm coming up around here. Okay. We heading off to. Oh shit! I I didn't mean to hit that guy. Sorry. Think I just slipped off the reload button. Now you see me? Now you nice. Don't. Surrender to my Nice. Went for a head of it while that time you can probably tell. <laughs> okay. Nice. Probably could have kept that soldier alive. I'm just so focused on this fucking. Have I just been holding on to how long have I actually been holding on to this ult for? I absolutely completely forgot about my ult. Oh, she's so trash. I'm gonna use my ult next to you. I actually genuinely, how of the heart, do not know how long I've been holding on to that ult for. That's bad. I spot an enemy! Watch out for that enemy! Surviving! I just feel like I've just seen myself make stupid mistakes one after the other like I almost know what the comments are going to be like this is the awareness is just so there, but like, yeah, I'm just not doing anything. 
Like, I know, like, I'm just sitting there and I'm just going to do a lab, but I'm like, this is such a useless lab. Like, why am I doing it? I, it's just totally my, my mindset. I'm a gonna. Yeah, Max, I didn't even realize the sword was there, Jesus. We just need to group, I, I think. My healing's okay, but it's really not. Yeah, that's just fun to play my ass. But this is such a different mindset than my previous video where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm playing, like I'm playing great. I mean, I haven't been playing that much this evening. These are my first two games, so um, perhaps still. Okay, well then what am I gonna do now? Do you know I might well, maybe I should have just hit them for me. No, okay, we're all back. We kind of we need to win this next team fight, really, to win. We need to touch Take the objective. Stay near the immortality field. No okay. That was annoying with that wall there, but I just felt like the weakest link. So badly felt like the weakest link there. Okay, so let's just try and dissect that. So I really don't know what I did that game. <laughs> I'm trying to think like how, like how I can improve and I just thought like absolutely everything was so bad that I just need to improve on everything. <laughs> so again, I think it's ability usage. I think I was just throwing out lamp for no reason half the time. I think cause the thing is I, I, I'll see a critical like through a wall and they're just like out of my line of sight for like three seconds. And I'm like, look, I'm just going to throw, throw a lamp and see if that gets them. And... I mean, sometimes it does, but I think in most scenarios it just never does, so I just may as well be like, okay, if they're out of my line of sight and they die in this particular situation, at least I still have lamp to perhaps save myself and be able to withdraw safely or something, I don't know. But I think I'm just throwing around my abilities just uselessly again there. I think there were parts where I got a couple good picks, so when I sort of maybe took a wider angle or played a bit more aggressively or tried to do a flank as such like the, that one on the Hanzo was pretty good um but then I sort of found myself maybe then I might be able to get a pick or I'm, do a bit of damage but then I found myself sort of away from my team which then enabled me to get picked on my aim is not that amazing to be able to protect myself all the time so I would just end up just dying when I was off somewhere, uh, which never worked. So I tried being a bit more reserved and then therefore focused on healing a bit more. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's all I can really think of. But sort of the same points uh, as, as the previous game. So yeah, I mean, if there's anything else you think I could have improved on, discuss it in the comments. And I'll address some other comments uh, in my next video um, and continue playing different heroes. I think I like the game. I like the games where I just play the one hero so that we can just sort of focus on that particular hero. But I think there is a common theme amongst at least Anna and Bap so far from today's video. And it's just using my abilities a bit more wisely. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And hopefully this video is a bit shorter than the last video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.